Hello guys and welcome to the 27th tutorial I believe in the PHP programming tutorial series. Now I apologize for this um, short break. I think it's been about a week or two since I uploaded the video. But I've been experiencing some severe internet problems lately. Um, I'm in the process of having them fixed so I should be back properly um, in no time. But before I start this tutorial I wanted to just say that two days ago on Halloween was the two year anniversary of my channel so two years since I registered this account it's been quite you know quite an exciting uh, experience to go up to so many subscribers so I'd like to thank everyone for that but let's enough of that um, enough of the random talk let's go into the tutorial now in the previous tutorial we learned about MySQL and we, we learned how to basically use phpMyAdmin on the browser to add a table to add entries into that table but in this tutorial we're going to learn the first step which is adding a table through a MySQL query and we're going to do that through PHP so what you need to do is make sure that your XAMPP is running and open up phpMyAdmin and log in and in the previous tutorial we created this users table and basically what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create this users table but we're going to do it just through PHP code so we're going to create a call users2 okay so let's start off open up notepad plus plus and just create your file call this we'll table.php and what we're going to do is if you remember the, f the final part of the previous tutorial we learned how to connect to a MySQL database and we're going to do that in this tutorial but we will store that in a variable so we'll create a variable called accounts just do that and then just type give it the value of mysql underscore connect and if you remember the three parameters we need are first of all the host which is localhost the username which in my case is root in your case it's whatever you set the username to <coughs> and the third parameter is the password which is just password for my test server right now and after that we can type or die and in question mark mysql underscore oops underscore error and that will just show the MySQL error if there's um, if any of these are wrong. Okay, so now that we've just gone back over the um, code that we went through in the previous tutorial, let's just save this, and we will go to we call it table.php, and you'll see there's no errors, and that means all good to go. It connected. So. Um, the next thing we need to do is select the table. Now if you go back over here, if you remember we created, let's go back to the root of the PHP admin, we created a database called accounts which is right here. So we click on that and our table was in here. So the next thing we need to do is select the database and we can use this, so we can do this using the mysql underscore select underscore db and then all we need to do in brackets is select the first parameter which is the actual name of the database in our case it is accounts you might have named yours something different and then put a comma and the second parameter is going to be our connection which you've got up here as the variable accounts so put dollar sign accounts forgetting my dollar signs there okay so we can have our semicolon there and now onto the part where we do our mysql query so down here um, first of all we're going to create a variable here called sql and this is going to hold the actual query that we're going to put into the um, into phpMyAdmin. And down here we're going to write our code mysql underscore query. And in here in mysql query we need two parameters. The first parameter is the actual query that we're going to run on the server. So the first parameter here, it could be in plain text, but in our case it's going to be a variable. This first parameter tells the it it tells um, MySQL what to do. And then the second parameter is our connection, which is accounts. Okay, so right now this doesn't do anything because this query, SQL, is blank. We haven't specified any any sort of query inside here. And the query we're going to create today is going to be to create a table. So we can do that by simply using the keyword create. So inside the two uh, quotation marks, type create. And then just have a space. And then we need to type table because we could be creating a database but in this case we're creating a table so we'll type create table and after that we need to give the table a name and what was it called um, 
users okay so we're going to create this as users2 so so far we're telling MySQL we're saying create a table and call it users2 so what we need to do next in brackets well actually we'll put this onto a different lines as I said you know it's read statement by statement not line by line so lines don't mean anything we're going to create two brackets because our the information about this table is held inside of brackets and, the, and what we can do now is specify different parts of the table and separate them with a comma so the way we can declare a field in this table is simply by first typing the name of that field and if we go back to here let's click on structure we can see we have all the information about the different fields in this table so we open notepad plus plus the first one was id so we'll just type id and then you put a space and then you need to specify the data type and as id is a number you type int which stands for integer and the next thing we need to do we need to specify this to be not null because if this is null then it will just be null the whole time but because we want it to auto increment we need every one of the ids to have an its own little number so we need to type not space null in capitals and my sequel will recognize this as saying that we don't want it to be null and then the final thing we need to specify for this is to auto increment it so we just type auto underscore increment and then that's what this line here does is this creates a table called id it says that the data type is integer we want it to be not null and we also want to auto increment this every time and then all we do is add a comma and we can go into the next line and the the next bit is you know fairly simple we're going to specify the primary key for the table so all you need to do is type primary space key and in bracket we want to specify the table sorry the field that we want as a primary key and in this case it's id as we've typed out here then put a comma and then the next parameter we're going to create some we're going to create our other tables, sorry, our other fields. So this one was pretty difficult to create because we wanted it to be not null and we wanted to auto increment it. But the next few ones are going to be pretty simple because all we want to do is just create a simple field as a varchar. So if we go here, we have username, password, first, last, and about. So all we need to do is go into Notepad++ and the first thing we're going to create is uh, is a username I believe it was, yeah let's just check yeah, username so all we need to do as we did with the ID one is type username and this just tells that we want the field name to be username and then all we need to do is type varchar and 20 in brackets and that is just saying the data type is varchar just like we specified an integer up here and since we don't need any of these it doesn't need to be not null unless you want to specify it as not null and it doesn't need to occur in increment so now we can just put a comment and go to the next um, item and this would be password I'm guessing and it's the same thing password varchar 20 and then a comment then first what was it if first as varchar 20 comment and then last varchar 20 and we don't need a comma for our last entry so um, I've just pretty much run through all that without explaining much but now because it was quite a chunky bit of bit of code I wanted to just type it all out you know as you're typing it out and now we can go through it so if we go to the first line what we've typed this is simply storing the MySQL connection with localhost root and password in the variable accounts and the next line that we've typed is MySQL select DB and in brackets we have accounts and the variable accounts and all this line does is select the database named accounts from the connection of accounts which is this what we've connected here and this isn't actually a MySQL query this is just a normal string variable and all we're doing in here is typing out our query that we want to perform and I've actually missed out a um, semicolon there my mistake and all this does is holds the information what we want to put into here so let's just go over it quickly the first thing we do is type the keyword create and table so we're telling it we want to create a table and we give it the name users2 and then in brackets and separated by commas we specify each field of that table and we can the first thing we type is the name of the field and then the data type 
and we've done that just name and data type sorry name data type name data type for most of these but because we needed to specify some special um, rules for the ID like not null and auto increment we've just um, typed them out right after it there so the final line actually runs the MySQL query which is MySQL underscore query and in brackets it has the actual query as the first parameter which is held in this SQL variable and then the name of the connection which is accounts in the second parameter and I'll put my semicolon there and that should now work for us it should now create the table hit save and go to table.php and if we go over back to the accounts database we now have users 2 right here so we can just look at the structure and we have all of these here um, all of the things we created that should be identical I think and we can just easily um, where is it we can just enter put entries into this database I'm not familiar with this version of PHP Admin, so I think it's import or no it's not it's insert actually sorry we can just insert values into the database so you know ID is blank as with the other ones username you know, Bob password password one two three again first name um, Bob and um, last name um, I don't know Johnson hit go and they've all inserted correctly so we go back here to accounts and it uses two we now have the entry right here so that was the second MySQL tutorial on how to create a table using MySQL query in PHP in the next tutorial we're going to look at how to insert values into a table through PHP which is probably what you've all been waiting for it's probably the most useful part of PHP and MySQL so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment I will answer all your questions click like on the video and add to favorites and also don't forget to click that subscribe button to have instant updates on every single video